Heinrich Ernst Walter Schultz, July 21, 1893 in Saalfeld, June 5, 1979 in Eltville, was a German officer and political assassin. He was an accomplice of Heinrich Tell Lesson on August 26, 1921 when the murder of German politician Matthias Erzberger took place. In his youth Schultz visited spent four years at the public school, followed by a further four years at the gymnasium in Saalfeld and three years at secondary school in Jena. After his exams, he undertook a commercial apprenticeship at a machine factory and iron foundry in Saalfeld. At the beginning of First World War, Schultz volunteered for military service. During the war, in which he fought through until the end, he was wounded three times and commended several times. When the war ended, he was discharged from service with the rank of lieutenant. His demobilization took place in December 1918 in Rudolstad. Afterwards, Schultz returned to his parents' house and resumed his old job at the Saalfeld Engine Works and Iron Foundry. In April 1919, he joined the Marine Brigade Earhart. These free corps were organized to combat the left's revolutionary aspirations. With the Marine Brigade, he was successively employed in Munich, Hof, and Berlin. In March 1920, he also participated in the occupation of Berlin's government district during the Katputsch. After the dissolution of the Marine Brigade, Schultz was, from April 1921, a member of the organization Consul, a nationalist secret society, which in many ways was the successor of the Marine Brigade and tried to destabilize us the Weimar Republic. On behalf of the organization Consul, on August 26, 1921 Schultz, together with Henry Tell Lesson, murdered the centrist politician and former finance minister Matthias Erzberger at Bad Griesbach in the Black Forest. Erzberger, as head of the German Armistice Commission on November 11, 1918, had signed the ceasefire agreement of Campine. As a result, right-wing and national groups hated Erzberger and called him a November thug. Schultz fled shortly after the assassination, along with Tillerson, and was pursued for murder Hungary by Hermann Berchtold. He was recognized in 1924 and arrested. As the Hungarian government refused his extradition, he was released but expelled from the country. As a result, he came via Italy to Southwest Africa and later to Spanish Guinea, where he lived as a plantation manager from 1926 to 1932. Due to malaria disease, he traveled in 1932 or 1933 for recovery to Barcelona. To get better health, he returned in March or April 1933 to Germany. Shortly before or shortly after his return to Germany, Schultz was granted amnesty by the impunity regulation from March 21, 1933, which was signed by Paul von Hindenburg. In May or June 1933 Schultz joined the SS, and he joined the Nazi party in June 1937. From the end of 1933 to 1934, Schultz was as understerm for a rod guide in the SS section Triple X in Kassel. He left this position after clashes with his superior, Unger. Instead, he was transferred to the SS Upper Section Rhine in Koblenz, where he worked in the administration. With the reorganization of the upper sections in January 1936, he joined the SS Upper Section Fulda Vera in Arolsen. Initially employed in the administration, in 1938 he was appointed welfare referent. He was successively promoted to Sturmbundführer and Obersturmbundführer. On April 15, 1940 Schultz was taken into the Waffen SS where he was employed as a welfare officer in the Waffen SS and police in the military district 2, Castle. In this position, he was concerned with the care of wounded members of the Waffen SS and the supply of survivors. In regional terms, he was subordinated to the SS group leader Josias Ernst Prince zu Waldeck Pernant. When the war ended in May 1945, Schultz entered American captivity. As a result, he was questioned during the Nuremberg trials as a witness. Through this, his involvement in Erzberger's murder became apparent. In November 1946, the Baden Attorney General requested the transfer of the case to the competent Baden law enforcement authorities. However, this did not take place immediately, as the denazification process continued. Heinrich Schulz was subsequently sentenced to eight years' forced labor. In December 1949, he was handed over to the German authorities and sent to custody in Offenburg. The procedures for Erzberger's murder trial took place from 17 to July 19, 1950 at the district court in Offenburg. Heinrich Tellessen was heard as a witness and, to Schultz's relief, 
portrayed himself as the main culprit. It has nevertheless been established that at least one deadly shot to the head came from Schultz's weapon. As a consequence, Heinrich Schultz was convicted of manslaughter and not for murder. The sentence was 12 years imprisonment. On December 22, 1952, the sentence was suspended. Heinrich Schultz lived afterwards in Frankfurt and Maine. Kurt Gethardt, Der Fall der Erzberger Mordes Heinrich Tellessen. EIN Byte Rag zu Justice Jeskick Knock 1945. More Cybeck, Tubingen 1995. ISBN 3 16 146490 7. Beitridge zu Rex Jeskick to 20. Jar Hundreds. AR 14. Reiner Hailing von Lanzenauer, Der Morden Matthias Erzberger. Verlag der Gesellschaft für Kulter Historische Dokumentation. Karlsruhe 2008. ISBN 3 92259 6 75 4. Schrift and Rate der Rechtschistorischen Museums Karlsruhe. Heft 14. Equals equals references equals equals.